Getting your music played on the radio can do wonders for your career. But where do you even start? This video is going to be a breakdown of how to get your track played on the radio. The first thing you need to consider when pitching to radio is whether the track is radio friendly or not. A song that is radio friendly is under around four minutes, has no derogatory terms and has no political or religious message. If you have a full album or full EP that you're releasing, you need to pick one track which you think you should pitch to radio. This can be really difficult to do as, as an artist, you think the whole EP or the whole album is perfect to pitch but you need to choose that one track which is super radio friendly. The easiest way to find the most radio friendly track from your EP or album is to listen to it in full and choose the one which you think is the most commercial. Sometimes you'll find that as a band or a collective that people will have different opinions on this. So the best thing to do is to play it to multiple people and get multiple points of view. Radio plugging can be a lot harder than online promotion because these producers, these presenters, these DJs have a lot of people sending them tracks. So you need to stand out and you need to write your pitch correctly. The first thing you must do when pitching to radio is upload the track to SoundCloud. If the track isn't released yet, make sure it's a private link. SoundCloud is the easiest way for people to stream your music because it means they don't get taken to somewhere like Dropbox or WeTransfer where they have to fully download the track. These producers and presenters have a lot of submissions, so downloading a track is pointless for them as they don't know if they're even going to like it. So SoundCloud is the quickest way for them to do it. One thing you must never do is attach your MP3 to the email. This can be the most frustrating thing for producers and presenters to receive in an email because it clogs up their emails and it means that they're just going to bin it straight away. Now you've got a SoundCloud link, you also need to create a download link. This can be done through Dropbox or WeTransfer or Google Drive, anything that's easy for you. Both of these things must be in the email so that if the presenter or producer likes it enough, they can save it easily and give it a spin on the radio. Now you've got both of these things, you need to start the pitch process. Make it personal, introducing yourself as an artist, explaining what you've done in the past, what you're doing currently and what you'd like from them. This pitch needs to be short and precise yet still persuading them to listen to your track. To really persuade them, you need to have something that makes you stand out as an artist, whether this be who you've supported in the past, who may have produced the track, who else has shown support, something that gives you a little bit of legitimacy so they know that if they listen to the track, they're gonna like it. That personal touch will also mean you have a stronger chance of getting the play. For example, if you've seen a presenter play a track that you think is similar to yours, you can put an in introduction, I noticed last week you played so-and-so, we have a very similar sound, so I think you might like us. By doing this, the person that's reading the email knows what to expect from your sound. This leads us nicely into which radios to pitch to. As I mentioned earlier, you can say to a presenter, I noticed you played so-and-so. This is a really strong way of finding radio stations that will support you too. If you're an indie rock band, you can look at an indie rock band at a similar level to you and see which radio stations they've been played on. By doing this, you know this radio station plays songs similar to yours, so your chance of success is a lot higher. A bonus tip for finding shows that you think are relevant for you is going onto the BBC Radio website. You search an artist that you think is similar to you, go on their artist profile, and then look at which shows they were played on recently. Once you've found these shows, you can pitch to them and tell them that you think you have a similar sound. Another way to start getting radio play is starting smaller. So start with your regional radio. For example, if you're from Cambridge, you might look at Cam 105 or BBC Introducing Cambridge. BBC Introducing is very supportive of emerging artists, so you simply go onto their site and upload your track. As soon as your track is listened to on BBC Introducing, you'll be notified, and if it's played, you'll also get an email. If your track is played, make sure you follow up with the producer and presenter and thank them. You can even offer an interview or a session. BBC Introducing works as a springboard to the national BBCs also. For example, BBC Six Tom Robinson has a BBC Introducing show, the same as Hugh Stevens on Radio 1. So this acts as a springboard to get onto those national radio. Another platform which is so supportive for emerging artists is Amazing Radio. Amazing Radio has a direct uploader like BBC Introducing called Amazing Tunes. So you basically upload your track and you can keep it on private if it's not out yet. And from that, the presenters and the producers can listen to your music and choose if they want to play it. Similar to BBC Introducing, you'll be notified by email if it's played. Again, you should send a follow-up email if they do play your track, thanking them. By doing this, you'll create a relationship with them, so when you release another track, they might spin that one too. Next, you should start looking at genre-specific radio stations. You can find these through a simple Google search or social media search, but you can also use the tip from earlier, where you find a similar band to yourself and see where they've been played. There are also larger stations that cover just one genre. Genre. For example, Kerrang! only play rock music, folk radio only play folk music, so make sure you're pitching to a station that actually covers your style. 
It's the same with national radio as well. Quite often there are shows that focus on one genre. For example, on BBC Radio 1, Daniel P. Carter has a show specifically for rock music. So if you are a rock artist that already has a portfolio of plays, you can start looking at the genre specific on national radio. It can be super difficult to find the right person to pitch to, but there are many platforms you can use to find these. You can look on LinkedIn, you can look on social media, you can even see if there's just a general Google search that makes them come up. These people are extremely busy, so you may have to do a few follow-up emails. The whole process of radio plugging can take a lot of time and effort, but if you stay patient, you will get the results. If you found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment and we'll answer them all. Thanks for watching.